Hello everybody, Technoli here, and I've got another motherboard video for you. We have a Gigabyte board this time. It is the Z790 Aorus Elite AX. Really, really good looking board. Of course, Gigabyte, we know the quality of Gigabyte. We all love them. Here's all your ports on the back. You do have a USB-C in there. You got USB-2s over here and a lot of USB-3s. EFI is done on this one on the website. If you do pick up one of these boards. And I will have this board on my website. So you can purchase it with Mac OS already installed if you like. It will hold 128 gig of RAM and it is DDR5, okay? So there it is, nice board. We'll take a quick look at it here on the website just so you can see the complete specs on it, okay? Let's get into it. Okay guys, so let's take a look at this system here. This is running on this computer right now we've got our Wi-Fi and we've got Bluetooth all set up on this uh, I want to show you the board I want to show you the specs on this board I really did like this board um, it's uh, it's good looking number one but let's look at the specs okay of course it will support 12 13 and 14 Intel CPUs so you can get any of those CPUs for this board. Um, here's your DDR5 and all of the speeds that it supports, just about everything. I'm sorry, this will go up to 192 gigabyte of RAM, not 128, 192. Uh, let's see here. Of course, we've got HDMI and DisplayPort built in. Uh, that's not going to work for Hackintosh, but it will work for your Windows if you're going to do a uh, dual boot on this thing. Realtek Audio, uh, Realtek 2.5 gigabit LAN controller, and of course we're on Wi-Fi 6 now with the AX211 and Bluetooth 5.3. Here's our expansion slots. Right there. Okay, we have a CPU M.2, and then we have two more M.2s for a total of uh, three, and then there are six SATA connectors on this board. Pretty massive. Of course, here's our uh, USB C's that I was talking about. It does have connectors on the board for your case for USB-C. So if you get this board and you want USB-C on the front of your case, you want to make sure you have it on your case because it does have the connector. And it also has USB-3 header for the case too, for the front of your case. Uh, so you can hook everything up. Um, here are all of the internal connectors and it has a bunch. This is, this is a, a higher end board. So this is really a good board. And it does have two Thunderbolt headers for add-in cards. That would be a separate card that you would add in if you want to add Thunderbolt to this. There's our back panel ports that we have on this thing. And uh, that's about it. I mean, really nice board. And uh, like I say, really like the looks of it. Um, it's very clean, and uh, you've got a lot of USB. You've got the Thunderbolt headers, 192 gigs of RAM. Great, great motherboard for, of course, Hackintosh or anything else you want to use it for. So there we go. I do have the EFI on my website for this. If you purchase the board, don't want to do the EFI yourself, or you can build it yourself uh, like we just showed in the complete guide video that will be at the end of this video you can click on. Um, and I've got a couple of these motherboards in stock if somebody wants to buy it with macOS already installed. Okay, 
Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you on the next video.